Alright, so it's been like two years since I posted a video on this because I kind of forgot about YouTube being a thing. But I am in my house now and it had a flea infestation um, in like March because it's on Pier and Beam and there's 26 cats at my house. And uh, so they got up in my floorboards, got on my dog, who was awesome, that I've also gotten in the last two years. Her name is Honey. She's freaking adorable. But anyways, I have um, scrubbed every surface and am currently still scrubbing mold that's on my floor from leaking water heater. Anyways, I will give you a tour. It is still boxy, I guess, and still messy. It's a work in progress, but I'm officially back in it, so it is officially good enough. All right. So let us start at the beginning. You walk in my door, and the first thing you see is this freaking awesome Harry Potter wall. That's what I call it. When we were trying to decide how to break up this paneling from the beadboard that we ran out of, I was like, hey, why not a brick wall? And this was before my parents knew my obsession with Harry Potter. And they're like, yeah, that's great. And so I did it, and I first made these 9 and 10 um, because I couldn't find this sign. And then I finally found it. And I actually have one more sign to rehang up. I don't know where it is, but it says Mischief Managed that my friend Andy gave me. So this has become my Harry Potter wall. My friend Annika drew that for me, and it's got these really great lyrics. This is the only on Harry Potter thing. It says, don't you know you can come by anytime, have a couple drinks, and talk deep into the night. If you ever need to get away, you're always welcome at my place. And that's what my home has really become, especially for the girls that dance. And that is my goal, is that it's a safe place for people. But anyways, so then of course I'm a Hufflepuff. Yeah. And then there's a little tribute to Hedwig. And I'm going with Andy to the Harry Potter world in Florida on September 1st. We are going to Hogwarts and we're meeting some of the cast members and we're freaking pumped. And so I plan to get more something, I don't know, to put on my wall to commemorate it because it's from, that's from London. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so that's that. Um, this way is my kitchen. My sister made my curtains, which are awesome. And my friend Hadley helped me. Hey, there's the queen. Um, <laughs> helped me like reorganize this recently. Oh, there's Mischief Managed on top of a trash can. That's sad. Anyways, this doesn't belong here, but it's here now. My fridge full of happiness. Because <laughs> it's a fridge. Um, my cabinets always tend to be open. But I really do. I love this curtain. And then these make me happy because those are my childhood memoried ones. And then my friend made me those. Well, she like etched them. Anyways. And then, um, that is Alejandro. He is my bust, I guess. I don't know what you call him. And then this is newly added, my pantry, or so I'm making it, with all of my nutcrackers and my elephants and then these cool baskets. And then this adorable picture my friend's four-year-old, I think she was four, drew of me. So then if you go into my hallway, which is where my floor is molding there, so I'm scrubbing it. Um, here's some memories from Europe on this wall and then some paintings from friends and me on this wall. This is a closet full of crap, but that's not crap. That's an awesome jacket. Anyways, and then my bathroom, which is a mess currently. Um, I picked out my vanity. I was really excited about it. Dad did the tiling while I was in Europe, which was awesome. And I love it happy. This is a water heater closet, which is the source of my disgusting floor. I'm still investigating that. Sorry, this is all shaky. I'm shaky. And then we have my living room, which I freaking love. I got this um, from an artist my friend Kristen and I met in San Francisco. She's really great. And so this was my first art piece I actually bought myself, and I'm very proud of it. I mean, I just bought it, but I, I love it. This lady's incredible. Um, her name is Arlene. I have her card over there. I'll show you guys. And then this is my ballet wall, <laughs> which unfortunately I've gotten rather sick in the last year. Um, we're still trying to figure out why I'm so sick um, and how to manage what we do know. And that's like I got diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, which began about in October, but I've been sick for like 14 years or something ridiculous. Um, so that can't be all of it, but it is a good portion of it, and it is the portion that is unfortunately causing me to hang up my point shoes for good, um, and my body is just not cooperating, and I don't have the energy to get through a class, let alone a show, but that's okay. I accomplished everything I wanted to, so I'm glad 
that I started when I did because I have no regrets. This beautiful painting came from Europe, which is where I was two years ago today. I was in Amsterdam, but this came from Paris and I am obsessed. Um, I framed it here, but I called her baby the whole time and just like gushed about it. And it's like the most I've ever spent ever. But the man I bought it from was in one of the green boxes that's along the river and his um, students, he's an art teacher and his students paint it and he had largely um, city scenes. But this was the only ballerina and it was massive and I had to have it and I got it right when he was closing on our last day. Um, my friend Kristen painted me this. <laughs> we joked that um, there were these leggings and I had a pair for her and a pair for me and my pair was unicorns and her pair was skulls and we laughed at how it was totally our personality. So for my birthday she painted me a unicorn skull and it's like my favorite thing. And there it is. And it is awesome. Ah, I love it. Uh, my aunt painted me these. Those are my point shoes, and I left them with her. And I'm I'm so excited to finally have a piece from my aunt. She's such a great artist, and I wish I had inherited her artistic abilities, but I did not. This is the autograph of one of my favorite ballerinas, uh, one of the first ones I heard of when I first started dancing, Diana Vishneva. And I got that in a GoFundMe for um, a documentary she's doing. These two are the two seasons of So You Think You Can Dance that I got to attend the tour and um, actually ended up getting to meet. This was the first one. Got to meet the dancers. I met all but two, I think, on this year and then all of them this season, I think. I think that's how it went. But anyways, they're awesome people. They're doing great things with their life. I'm pumped. I still follow them. And that was freaking cool. Like, amazing. Uh, these three, uh, my best friend Jackie gave to me. And I don't know where she got them, but I love them. This was from when my old studio, the first dance studio I went to, closed down. And my dance teacher signed it there up at the top. But it hung in the hallway, and it actually hung in her room um, since she was, I think, 12, she said. So, it's, I love it. Ugh, I love it. And then one of my Instagram friends is a insane artist. And these are me, which are freaking cool. Because I never thought that I would be that cool to have paintings done of me. Like, I'm not that great, but I don't know. It's, it's awesome. It's, it's truly something to cherish. And then my point shoes, including the black ones from the year I slipped on stage. And then these are my movies, which I had actually lost and then now found. Um, a quilt my friend made. My garage sale chair my friend gave to me that she couldn't take home. My awesome bookshelf complete with Harry Potter and Esther, and then some John Green stuff, and some Pierce Brown, and my, all my magazines, time and point. <laughs> and these are my empty journals I have yet to fill, my unempty journals, oh wait, Cheesehead, my signs, my Wimbledon, DFTBA, Nerd Fighters, little guy, journals that are filled, some of my pop vinyls, um, Mental Health Europe, vinyl records, autographed books, thank you Barnes & Noble, my bed, hey bed. Um, this is Tyler Peck, her brother took the picture and I fell in love with it, so I had to have it. And then one of the times that I like almost passed out in Austin with my sister, her friends bought me that because I was so sick, it was adorable. And then this was the first one Kristen did, you can see how much her not the first one ever, but the first one she did for me. How much her art has grown from there to the unicorn. And then my postcard map, which is a new thing. Um, my friends send me postcards either from where they live. Like this one is from my friend in Germany. Um, and then my friend in Singapore is here. Or places they visited. Like this one is my friend went to New Zealand. My friend went to Japan and then all over the US. <laughs> um, I don't have Russia or China or anywhere in Africa yet. I don't think I have Morocco. Okay, that's the only place. Um, and I do have Canada. I got to go to Canada last year with my sister and brother-in-law. That was really cool. We went to Niagara Falls. And then I think a friend in Canada has sent me one as well. And then this is my shelf of travels. So I've got Amsterdam. I've got some Brussels. Got Mexico little jars of air from the places in Europe I went to. Ugh, I love it. Just some ballet stuff. That's London. I don't, I don't think I have a little thing from Paris. Polaroids, which I do a Polaroid a day. I'm still going on that. I missed a couple days, but that's okay. Old pictures. I took that one a couple years ago. Um, 
This is my favorite picture of me ever. If I ever write a book, I want this to be the cover. Like a memoir book, not like a storybook. I'm um, working on that. And then my dad and my sister and me, my friend Rachel who died, she's also why I have the cheese hat. And then me with one grandpa, me with the other grandpa, right there. This is the receipt from that time I almost died right before. Um, my dad and me, my mom and me, our first trip to Europe. There's Rome and uh, Switzerland. And then this was someone, I don't know, it's old, great grandmas or something. My record player. The first ballet I ever saw happened last month. It was incredible. I got to meet three of the artists, including Sarah Webb, which was incredible. And then more Europe and travels and happiness. Um, Ali Raisman's autograph is up there too. I won that through Feet Socks, who's an awesome company. Um, some cards I've gotten, some pictures I've taken. Okay, like one picture I've taken. Things that my friends have sent me that really mean a lot, like that guy right there. And then up here I've got um, a nerd fighter made that for me. It's a quote from Hank Green. The newspaper I'm in from the Nutcracker, which it's folded up from when I had to get into my um, attic, which is up there. And some awards and stuff I've gotten over the years of dance and Pottermore. What's up? And then over here is some just stuff. Flowers my dad got me for Valentine's Day. Um, I got this doll in Switzerland, and I'm so glad I did. I love her. My friend Hannah painted that for me. These are dolls named Emily, spelt my way. Picture of my cousins. <laughs> Flowers from weddings. Here's a medal I need to hang from one of the virtual 5Ks or marathons that I've done. Um, this beautiful thing is from the Harry Potter Alliance fundraiser a couple years ago. Um, Ivana Lynch's cat, Lil Puff, signed it. And then this past year, I got Ivana Lynch's autograph. She said my name in the live stream during the Lil Puff one, and I'm still not over it because that was like one of the best days of my life. And then one of my sweet friends in Sydney, Australia, Kenzie, painted this for me um, to raise money for her YAGP, which is a ballet competition, um, to get her to go to America to compete in the nationals, which is awesome. Or not nationals, but finals. Train tickets, Harry Potter, can you tell I'm a big fan? I love it. So anyways, this is my house. I am morbidly obsessed with it. Um, hopefully going to paint the outside uh, this weekend or next. Um, my friend Andy is supposed to come over and help me with that since I like can't do anything by myself anymore. That's why Hadley came over and helped me for four hours clean my house for me. Like, it was incredible. That's how I'm in it right now. And, um... Yeah, so life is weird, life is crazy, but it keeps going. Um, currently pretty difficult at the moment, but you learn and you figure out a way to keep living it. And I mean, it, it keeps going and you keep going with it. And then eventually one day I'll look back and be glad that I kept going. And that day is not today, <laughs> but hopefully it will be soon. And then I can remind myself um, how worth it. It is when things get hard to to keep pressing on. Um, one of my dance babies gave me this, and it has become one of my one of my things. Also, I have a unicorn rug. I don't know if I showed you that, but I'm obsessed. I love it. This is why I'm single. Oh, my dad built me a porch too. I don't know if you can see it. It's dark. Oh yeah, summer. Forgot. I have a porch now, and it is incredible. Look at that. Look at the sky. Texas is beautiful, y'all. Anyways, hopefully I will update more. Hopefully I'll actually have stuff to say. Life's pretty boring now that I'm sick. Um, or sicker. Sick enough for it to affect my life. And not be able to just push through it. But I hope um, you are well if you're watching this. And I don't know why you're watching it. Because nobody knows about this YouTube channel. Um, but if you are, hey, you're cool. And yeah, that's all. I will talk to you eventually. Goodbye.